Hello everybody, it's Amel, and today I'm going to teach you how to solve the evaluate reverse Polish notation problem. Evaluate the value of an arithmetic expression in reverse Polish notation. Valid operators are plus, minus, star, slash. Each operand may be an integer or another expression. Note, division between two integers should truncate towards zero. The given RPN expression is always valid. That means the expression will always evaluate to a result and there won't be any divide by zero operation. So as you know, reverse Polish notation is the same as postfix notation. In this example, they give you the input as an array of strings. Every element is a token. So you can see that this is reverse Polish notation. Reverse Polish notation is the same as postfix notation. So as you can see, the operands come first and then the operators. So you have 2, 1, plus 3, multiplication. So how can we solve this problem? We can solve this problem in two ways. One way is to use the stack explicitly. The other way is to use recursion. And if we use recursion, we use the stack implicitly. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to solve this problem using the stack explicitly, using iteration. So the way we're going to solve this problem is that we're going to go from left to right, scanning every token. If we find a number, we're going to push the number to the stack. So you know the stack has the LIFO property last thing first out. That way, we can get the last two operands that we pushed and apply the corresponding operator. So we see a 2 is a number, push it to a stack. We see a 1 is a number, push it to a stack. We find plus, this is an operator. So pop the last two operands. The second operand, y, we can call y. And the first operand, we can call x. So we pop those two and apply the operator, which is plus. So 2 plus 1 is 3. So we have 3 and we push it to a stack. So now the stack has the number 3. Then we go here, we see a 3 again. So we push the 3 to the stack. So now the stack has 3, 3. Then we find an operator. So what we do is that we pop those two operands, the last two operands, we charge 3 and 3, and we apply multiplication. So 3 times 3 is 9. And 9 is the final output as an integer. So without further ado, I'm going to teach you how to write the code. First, I need a stack of integer s. Then I will scan the tokens. So for string token in tokens. So I have two cases. The token could be an operand or the token could be an operator. So I will check those two cases. If plus minus multiplication division that contains token that means that the token is an operator else that means that the token is an, an operand the token is a number so token is a number so if the token is a number i just want to push it to a stack so i say stack that push integer that parse int of token. I have to convert the token to an integer because this is a string. Alright. If it is not a number, the token has to be an operator. It could be plus, minus, multiplication, or division. So I will pop the last two operands. First, the second operand, integer y, gets a value of stack.pop. And then the first operand, integer x, gets a value of stack.pop. And the order is important because the stack has the LIFO property. So the first operand that you pop is the second one, is y. And then the other operand is going to be the first operator, or the, the first operand. So the order is important. So now that you have those two operands, then you need to determine what operation you have to apply to them. So if token that equals plus 
then you can say stack the push x plus y else if token that equals a minus the operation is a minus subtraction then stack the push x minus y else if token that equals star for multiplication as the push stack the push x times y else if token that equals slash for division stack the push x divided by y so in this case y could be a zero but i don't have to check because it says that for this problem there won't be any divide by zero operation so i don't have to handle that case so by the end of the for loop all the tokens will be evaluated the rpn expression will be evaluated and there will be only one number in the stack and that number will be the final result so i can return stack that pop then i run the code all right it seems to work fine i'm going to submit a solution this is working perfectly so as you can see um this is working perfectly the time complexity is big of n when where n is the number of tokens if you like the video please press the like button don't forget to subscribe and see you next time